extended their win streak to 16. Our guy Jeff Van Gundy has long said it's a foregone conclusion that the Warriors will win it all no matter what, but he's now changed his tune, saying this morning about Houston on the Golic and Wingo Show. I put them on equal footing with Golden State. To me, it's a two-team uh, league right now. Whoever wins the Western Conference is going to win it. But uh, what I thought was a foregone conclusion that Golden State would just continue to win it, uh, I think uh, was discounting how good Houston is. This is a, this is a big deal because he really has been saying that for a minute now, and now he says they're on equal playing. Do you agree? Yes. I think Houston Rockets right now – are a legitimate threat to beat the Golden State Warriors in seven-game series, especially if they have the home court advantage. If they stay healthy, this team has been playing great basketball. Their big three is 33-1 and one when they're healthy. So, and the fact that they beat them two out of three gives them the added confidence of feeling that they can beat them in a seven-game series. So, right now, I look at Houston as a, a, a big-time threat, and I agree with Jeff as far as it's going to be one of those two teams. I don't think there's another team in the Western Conference can, can uh, deal with the two teams that we're talking about because of the firepower that those two teams have. And what both of you guys are stressing is why Adam Silver is going to make it one through 16 seeding next mm. year. So they mm. can face each other in the finals as opposed to the conference finals. The two best teams. But let me tell you something that notorious JVG didn't say and you didn't say either. Are you picking the Houston Rockets to beat I, the Warriors? I, I didn't say that. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I said, because the question was, do they have a legitimate chance right. to are beat they? them? Yeah. So, to answer that question, yes, they do. And Am I picking them? I'll, I'll wait later and we'll, I, I, we'll discuss correct, that. Correct. <laughs> and, and, and he mentioned home court is going to be key because game seven on your home floor, that team wins 80% of the time. Mm -hmm. So it's paramount for the Houston Rockets to try to achieve that. Is it possible? Let me just play devil's advocate here for a second. Is it possible that we are all getting swept up in the romance of a big winning streak and maybe not taking into consideration that the Warriors just seem to be a little bit bored and they're just passing time to get to the playoffs, that we're giving the Rockets – too much credit and taking a little bit away from Golden State? I don't think we're giving the Rockets too much credit, and I'm definitely not taking anything away from Golden State. Being in that position before, teams do get a little bored. You know, when you've been to the finals three, four straight years, you know, it takes a lot to get you back up to that level. So definitely I think the Golden State Warriors are kind of just going through the season, waiting for the playoffs to start so they can kind of turn on that light switch. But what the Houston Rockets have shown all year long is that they are a very, very good basketball team. And now they're playing with a little bit more added incentive. You got Chris Paul, who's never been out of the second row, second round. That's added incentive. James Harden, who ended last year badly against San Antonio, where he looked like mm -hmm. he didn't want to play or whatever the case may be. And then he and went then to the, the club questions. and the strip club. Right. <laughs> but all the like questions him. about him after that series, that's another little chip on your shoulder. So I think what we're seeing with Houston is that we're seeing a team that's so determined and so focused right now that that everybody's giving them their props, which they deserve. But the Golden State Warriors, and when Jalen said, I'm not picking Houston, not right now. <laughs> not let's, not, let's not go that far. Golden State Warriors are a little bit bored, and they're going to go through this process. But once the playoffs start, those guys will lock in. For a regular season foe, the Houston Rockets are doing all they can to garner this conversation because it's deserved by how they're playing. And when we look down at the standings, they're ahead of the Golden State Warriors, right. which creates this conversation. Harden's been all NBA MVP race without Chris Paul. The Rockets have been top three without Chris Paul. Now they've catapulted themselves into a legit contender, but still home court advantage. And doing that, key. by the way, because the streak is now at 16. Um, Jalen and Paul both thought it would end last night, but as we've learned, they are bad at predicting. <laughs> so the next five games, here they are. Three more road games. <laughs> then they go home, they face the Spurs. Um, Friday's matchup against the Raptors, the only one as an underdog the rest of the season, which is crazy, by the way. And if they win each of their next five, they're one shy of tying the longest streak in team history. <laughs> Jalen, uh -huh. why do I keep doing this? I don't know. <laughs> but when does the streak end? It's going to be a scheduling loss that takes place in Toronto. That's going to be the third game in four nights. Wait, you're not giving Toronto the credit that they could just beat them? Well, I'm, if they were playing in a seven-game series, I would pick the Rockets. Okay. But there are such things as scheduling losses, and you know this, Coach. And by the way, Toronto, for those that don't know, is in another country, Canada, which what? is another <laughs> level. How many of, people just got surprised? I, I, I'm just saying, we have kids watching the Believe program. Believe me, a lot of people probably <laughs> just got surprised. <laughs> Tell her, Coach. Tell her, Coach. They and are? So, and and really? so now you get to Toronto a little later than usual. You're out of your routine. 
and you're in another country, of course you want to champagne and campaign some. So Toronto. And then Toronto handles business Friday night and they end the rocket street. And, and I agree with everything that Jalen just said and the fact that Toronto is a great home team. They play extremely well at home. And coming in, you know, a Houston team that's coming in with seven, I'm, I'm already giving the, Houston, the, uh, the Milwaukee game, 17 wins in a row. Mm -hmm. They're going to really look to try to, to break that streak. So I agree with Jalen that the streak stops in Toronto. Okay. I don't have anything to say. JBL. It is out of the country. <laughs>